morning, everybody, and welcome back to Good Morning Arizona. If you live in Tempe, or maybe you've just been familiar with the Minder Binder restaurant that was here for 40 years, you probably were wondering, well, what happened to it back in 2005 when it suddenly just shut down? Well, it literally was just abandoned, but the good news is, folks, it is now reopened as the mission at Minder Binder. Come on in, because once you're inside here, you're going to wonder what's changed, because it doesn't look like a lot has. It's a lot of the original building, a lot of the original artifacts but there's a new owner and that's Kristen and you guys really went bottom up with this I mean you started you tore the old barn down and started fresh good morning good morning talk to me about that process that was pretty exhausting well um, it, it, it was Heidi and largely because um, like you said a lot of people do think that we tore the barn down when in fact we we restored it from the inside out so it did take quite some time um, but we we feel that it's nicely refurbished and the reaction we've gotten from uh, people who used to frequent the establishment has been has been very positive. Yeah, you said a lot of people feel like they walked in and it's nothing has changed. You guys put the original booth downstairs back where they were and we're looking right now at this big huge statue uh, of Zeus and a lot of the artifacts, the movie artifacts, were here as well. Correct. Yes, they've just been cleaned up quite a bit. And for folks who don't know, that was actually the Zeus used in the movie Ben-Hur. I think we have a little, a little clip of that. So. Uh, was there ever a point during the restoration process, I mean, it took you guys two years, that you thought, what are we doing? Like, why are we doing this? <laughs> Just on the days that end in Y. I, I love, I love that answer because when you look at the pictures of what you guys went through to turn this restaurant back uh, to life, so to speak, it was a lot of work, and you said your whole family just pitched in to make this happen. It, it was, but you know, we, we felt that the, the endeavor was uh, worthwhile, um, and we found since we've been open, like I say, just from the reaction of, of people who have memories here, who, you know, just cherish yeah. the, the memories they made here, a lot it of was kids worth it. Who went to ASU, and you said this was a pretty popular watering hole for those folks, are now adults, and they have families, and they come back here and they say, yep, this is just how we remembered it. We're going to stick around and show you the downstairs portion of this restaurant. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with it, you'll recognize it. That's coming up at 945. More Good Morning Arizona coming up. Well, if you live or work in Tempe, you might have noticed what used to be a big red barn is now a Spanish mission. Yeah, it used to be Minder Binders, but it's still home to some great food and memories for lots of folks. Heidi joins us from Minder Binders to show us the new digs. Hi, Heidi. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we're outside in their brand new patio and courtyard right now, and I want you to look around because if you're just looking at this, you'll think there is no way. This is the Minder Binder that I grew up with or maybe that I visited when I went to ASU. Well, it is. They have uh, completely restored the building from the outside, inside out, and then they've added this great patio. So the good news is there's still great food and great memories here. And the even better news is, is it's beautiful. And when you come inside, it's almost like you go into a time warp. Kristen is the owner. They're just putting out some of their delicious food for us. We were talking a little bit earlier about this major transformation that you guys did. Talk to me about the results, what, you, what we're in right now. It's pretty tremendous. Well, thank you. We uh, we are enjoying it very much. You know, just the look on people's face when they when they come in and they see, oh, the barn is still here. You know, that's really quite a treat for us. And uh, the response to our food has been awesome as well. Well, let's talk about some of the stories that people have shared because we were looking um, earlier at some of the names that have been carved into the tables, and you've had people come in and, and kind of talk to you about their memories here. Right. That's that's very fun. It's not uncommon for people to find. You know, I carved this 30 years ago, and you know, now we're married and we have kids and so forth. Or, this like we're not married anymore. Or, yeah, or maybe, they, <laughs> right. yeah, maybe it didn't work out, but it still holds a, a special place in their heart. That's true. D the decision to buy this building, it had been overlooked by a lot of different people uh, because of the work involved in turning it back into what you guys have done. What made you guys decide to pull the trigger? Well, you know, we uh, we just had a particular blend of, of skills and talents um, amongst the people who were involved. Uh, my, my dad and my brother and uh, Mike, who's worked with us for 10, 15 years, we just thought, you know, I think we can pull it off and I think we can do it on our budget, which... Uh, yeah, well, and you guys did pull it off. And the reason you were able to stay in budget is because you were on the tractor. You guys had shovels and gloves on. You completely knocked it out of the park, as you did with your food. Talk to me about some of the offerings, because, of course, when people come out to Minder Binder, it's to eat, right? And not only to see your beautiful buildings. So talk to me about what you guys offer with your food. Well, especially uh, Minder Binder fans will enjoy the reintroduction of the Jiffy Burger, which, believe it or not... That's peanut butter? Peanut butter. Yes, ma'am. Wow. 
pills, mm, you don't even have to I, be pregnant to pregnant. I was going to say, that. that's usually something that I would only <laughs> eat when I was eight months pregnant. It's often. <laughs> this here's the Swiss Alp burgers, caramelized onions with our uh, house-made honey barbecue oh, no. sauce, bacon, delicious. Um, this here's our Scarborough Fair, one of our signature pieces. Um, the name comes from the parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. If you Love that. that. Simon and Garfunkel a reference songs. to the song. Right. Yep. They happen to taste good together as well. Um, and that's with our with our sourdough starter, of course, which is uh, yeah. what really makes that crust. Yeah. Special. They have this tremendous starter that they make all their pizzas with, and uh, this uh, tremendous kitchen with a huge pizza oven. Some of you said the biggest in the state. Uh, the, the they're the biggest ones I know of. They're, they're bigger than what the factory uh, will normally. You guys they're, had they're to have them specially made. Right? So if you come out here, get the kids a pizza because they're going to love it. She really nailed it. She's only 27, by the way. I'm so impressed with this girl. Uh, so we're at Minder Biter. It's called the Mission at Minder Biter. Same location, new look until you get inside, and then you'll feel like you're back home where you were when you were uh, going to ASU. Guys, we'll send it back to you.